So, the one-hit wonders moaning and aren't anywhere, to be seen on here. Chris Boyd reacts to Willie Collum, and then declared that the SPFL title race is over. Celtic's pursuit of Cameron Carter-Vickers is going well and the club are making progress over a permanent deal for the defender. Even Nicola Sturgeon responds. Referee Willie Cullum did very well and was right not to award Rangers a penalty in the second half of the defeat against Celtic, says Chris Boyd. Ryan Jack hit the ball into Cameron Carter-Vickers arm in the penalty area, in one of the few notable involvements that his midfielder managed, as the home side chased an equaliser but Colum was unmoved. Well sit me down, pass me a drink did I read that right? He said, I don't think so. It has hit Carter Vickers hand but it's not as if it's out. His arm is by his side, and not every handball is a penalty kick. He doesn't make any movement from his hand towards the ball. What I will say is I thought Willie Colum refereed the game very well today. He kept his cards in his pocket early doors. It hits his hand but it's not a penalty for me. And that's without VAR. Oh, it gets better Celtic fans. Chris Boyd has included for Celtic players in his team of the week. Goal heroes Tom Rogic and Cameron Carter-Vickers are selected through the centre with Captain Callum McGregor linking defence with attack. Boyd's former teammate Greg Taylor is picked to play at left-back. I bet that hurt him doing that right back to the only show in town, and in Australia for that matter. Carter Vickers supplemented his sterling work in defence with a match-winning goal as Angie Postacogler s Celtic took a huge step towards the title. The Aussie gaffer was able to snare his defender in the final hour of last summer's transfer window on a season-long loan. Carter Vickers' parent club Spurs want a chunky fee from Celtic for the 24-year-old to make that deal permanent. The match winner at Ibrox, with the kind of finish Jorgos Jakumakis would have been proud of, the big defender excelled when Angie Postacogla needed him to most, heading away countless Calvin Basie crosses and, together with Carl Starfelt, keeping Kimar Roof so quiet he'd have been as well heading off for an early bath. As far as catching the eye of his national manager goes, Cameron Carter Vickers couldn't have done any more on Sunday. This is why Celtic want this deal done before the end of the season. The Sefco, old firm archway used during the derby clash with Celtic has been snapped in the Ibrox bins. Both teams walked out from the tunnel, and under the blue old firm branded arch before kick-off between the bitter foes. The traditional title for Scottish football's showpiece match has been a bone of contention with Celtic fans opting for the Glasgow derby post-2012. Yes that right you lot died in 2012 and just like the cardboard cut out now in the bin, so are the league hopes. Celtic are back. Meanwhile, Mark Haightley spoke on behalf of the losers. On the Sefco fans, throwing bottles at the game yesterday including broken glass onto the park at half-time and smashing a bottle over a Celtic staff member's head resulting in the need for urgent medical attention that required stitches, Haightley said. It's unacceptable at any level for me, and it is endangering lives. Bottle throwing of you were on the street you'd be arrested, and you, D be thrown in jail and charges would be pressed. I would like to think and you know you have disgruntled supporters but that is beyond the game of football and beyond this football club for me. Even Nicola Sturgeon responds after Celtic staffer's head is split open by thrown bottle. This sort of behaviour is not acceptable, whether it happens at a football match or in the street. People throwing glass bottles is not acceptable, it's mindless, thuggish behaviour and it has no place in any civilised society. Let's face it, Sefco, fans have a chip on their shoulders from the financial meltdown of 2012. They are very quick to play the victim card and seem to think the rest of the football world owes them a favour. Or that they can get away with blue murder and do whatever they please without any consequence. Anyways, Back to Celtic and Cameron Carter-Vickers to Celtic transfer latest as hoops move closer to a permanent switch. Celtic are reportedly closing in on the completion of a permanent deal for Derby match winner Cameron Carter-Vickers. The on-loan Tottenham defender has been a rock at the back for the hoops since making a temporary move to Parkhead in the summer. Carter-Vickers, 24 capped his fine run of form with the deciding goal against Rangers on Sunday firing a loose ball into the back of the net to make it 2-1 before the break. Celtic, 
saw out the game in the second half to take a massive stride forward in the title race and Carter Vickers' performance resulted in supporters and ex-players urging Angie Postacogla to make him a permanent addition. Then, let's get the wee winger deal done Celtic FC. And on that note have a great day Celtic fans. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party, roll up, roll up.